What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we are gonna be talking about a stock that ARK Invest decide to sell completely. Now they decide to buy this company at the end of January and before you know it, they sold out completely. So we're gonna go over exactly what this company is and is this the beginning of ARK Invest selling off of the majority of their positions. So we're gonna go over and talk about this company in detail. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. Now the company that we are going to be talking about about is called Hims and Hers. So this company became popular because they're involved in telehealth and this fits exactly what ARK Invest is looking for because this is disruptive and there's not a lot of telehealth companies out there. So this company recently went public through a reverse merger. This company was a prime candidate to disrupt the health care system. So they're gonna go watch exactly how they are planning to do that in detail on this video. When you hear the word healthcare, what do you think about? Do you think about waiting rooms, confusing paperwork, and deductibles? Or how about an awkward conversation you're bound to have with a pharmacist? There's nothing simple about brick and mortar medicine. Hims and Hers is simple. Here are the nuts and bolts. We call it digital health, but forget the digital part, because all you need to know is that Hims and Hers gives you access to a doctor's office without the office. Let's let the professionals explain. Accessing healthcare is a hassle. I practice in a very traditional primary care world for 25 years. I would see 30 patients per day. They would set up appointments, they would come in, we would have a visit, I'd write a prescription, the prescription had to be picked up at a pharmacy. What we're doing is we're empowering consumers, customers, to really access care on their own schedule, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I don't even like calling it digital health, I like calling it health. I remember early on when we launched Hims and Hers, I had even my friends coming up and saying, yeah, but it's not real doctors, right? And I had to say, no, no, these are doctors who have been working for over 15, 20 years in their profession who are licensed in your state. It's your doctor who's writing a prescription, not a robot prescription that is gonna get fulfilled by a real pharmacy and delivered to your door. It is revolutionary. Being able to access healthcare from your phone, from your computer. What I hear from a lot of my younger patients who do get some of their healthcare through online digital health platforms is that they love the ability to have this ongoing conversation, to get quick responses, and to feel like their questions are never ignored. Quality care is our top priority. It's not about overhauling the system. It's about privacy and respect and choice. It's about opening up access to quality care to people who otherwise might get no care at all. So when I look at the treatments that HIMSS and HERS offers, I see treatment that is oftentimes not discussed in brick and mortar. Doctors have mentioned this phenomenon they've seen when they were treating in person, which is called the by the way syndrome, where you go through and you talk to your doctor about maybe your general checkups and, and what have you, and while your hand is on the doorknob, you say, hey, by the way, you know, my friend is taking Viagra, what do you think about that? Or I've been thinking about going on birth control, what do you think? And it's really what's the crux of their their emotional concern at the doctor, but it's not anything that they feel comfortable booking an, an appointment for. So when you go on detail to the website and watch exactly some of the products that they offer, you know, most importantly, they offer, you know, COVID-19 tests. So that is fantastic. So you can take them at home, they can deliver it to you. And they also offer, you know, for men, hair loss, erectile dysfunction, skin care, anxiety, and depression. And you can also get a lot of products for also for females it's not only for males so and importantly they, this is where they got very famous for they have commercials out there this for sex so this one is simple you need erections when you want them not when it's convenient for your penis so they also have skin products and they have also for well-being for women they also have a lot of products out there you can order online so when you go in detail and talk about exactly when they started to buy the company, they started buying it in January 27. So they bought 400 
and 61,000 shares when the stock was dipping significantly to the downside. So they got right around over here at $13 at January 27. The stock eventually started to trend higher and higher. It hit a high of $25.40 and the stock decided to sell off. You know, we have, we're experiencing a lot of massive sell-offs that's happening across the board, and especially in these kind of growth stocks you're investing in for the long term. You know, they decided to sell it off at around $19, and that was in less than a month. So let's check out why the reason why Kathy Wood might potentially sell off this type of companies in her growth portfolio ETF. So, so how do you do it? So rates right now, they're moving up. Do you say, okay, we may be in a little trouble here with this valuation reset. They're going to jump up another whatever up to, you know, maybe 2%. Do you get in front of it or do you just take it as it comes? No, we, we use it actually. Uh, and so what we've been doing for the last six months is expanding the number of names in our portfolio. And we do that um, as a bull market extends because it's, in some ways it's a tax efficient strategy. What we will do during a correction, especially a severe correction, we will sell names in which, which are creating losses now because again, we've bought them, we've diversified and bought them more recently. Sell those names creating losses to buy our highest conviction names. Uh, some of the names we've been moving into, you'll notice, uh, our names like uh, some of the bigger biotech names, uh, Regeneron, Novartis. As you saw from the video, this might be the reason why she sold it because they want to focus on their high conviction stocks. You know, right now there's certain market volatility. The stocks are dropping a lot like Tesla stock is dropping. You know, we have the high conviction stock that she's holding are also selling off like Square. So this is a great opportunity to lock in profits on these companies and buy in on their high conviction stocks when these companies drastically sell off like Tesla, Square, and etc. So that might be one of those reasons. And the other reason can also be that they do not see a huge growth potential for this company, even though it looks very, very solid right now. And they did a reverse merger, they went public, and the company is actually doing pretty good right now. And we can see some huge growth potential. So if you see this company and if you want to get involved in it ideally if it can sell off to the downside more within the next few days if it can go to you know ten dollars or thirteen dollars you know that can be an ideal price point to buy in you never know in the future ark invest can also jump in again and establish another position so be on the lookout for this company keep it in your watch list if you like to invest in disruptive companies like this so if you have any questions any comments Make sure you drop in the comment section below and check out all the links in the description box if you want to get free stocks, free Bitcoin, and join our Patreon page also. But I catch you guys on another video. Let's get it. Have a wonderful day.